And if you are planning to go to that festival today, there's 17 water stations. You can find where they are on the website. If you are in Des Moines or in the metro or anywhere in central anywhere. Iowa waking yeah. up today, get outside, take a walk now because later today it's not going to be as great to get no, outside. No, yeah, this is the most pleasant time, I guess, if you want to call it that outside here this morning, Amanda, because we are going to be, like you mentioned, up around those triple digits here by later on this afternoon, at least in terms of the heat index. The actual temperature won't get that hot, but it'll be hot enough up into the 90s. That does bring us at least the chance of a storm or two in parts of the state as we head towards tonight and into tomorrow, and then we're cooler from Tuesday onward. Here's where we top out later this afternoon. When you factor the humidity in, a lot of us in that 95 to 105 sort of range, about the southern three quarters of the state. There'll be a, a front that kind of sits up, sets up west to east across northern Iowa. Right now, there's no activity across most of the state except for a couple of storms just working up into far northeastern parts of Iowa up towards Alamakee County back towards Decorah and so on. There's our boundary here this morning. That's going to align itself more west to east across northern Iowa later this afternoon. Uh, if you're up towards Algona, maybe you might not get quite into these mid 90s. The rest of us are going to see, but you know, you're going to be the only spot that isn't quite that hot. That's the focus zone for then a chance of a storm or two, maybe as soon as later this evening, but the better chance is going to be overnight as a few little disturbances sort of ride from west to east along that front. Maybe even a couple of stronger storms, some isolated small hailstones, maybe a couple of wind gusts here too. Far northern Iowa into the wee hours of tomorrow morning. And then that boundary will surge north a little bit farther right up towards the Minnesota border so that everybody's baking under those mid 90s tomorrow on Monday, still around the triple digits for those heat index values. Any storms that do form during the day tomorrow are going to be right along probably close to the Minnesota state line along that frontal boundary. Watch then as we go past the evening and into now late tomorrow night, early Tuesday. And last chance of some storms fires up and moves along that front across far northern northeastern Iowa once again into early Tuesday morning and then the whole system pulls through by daytime Tuesday. We have turns our winds to the north and northeast and our temperatures take a nice little drop out of the 90s and into maybe as cool as the upper 70s for Tuesday afternoon and then onward after that. So there is the possibility again across northern Iowa of a storm or two, maybe this evening, more likely tonight and then late tomorrow night. And then after that, mostly dry conditions through the rest of the eight day forecast. The temperatures here, though, are most important. Look at those numbers, upper 70s to around 80 through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, when the state fair starts. Our overnights are cooler as well because we're not going to have as much humidity. Might even have a couple of nights where we briefly dip into the upper 50s. So as we head into the first full week of August, things look much better once we get past tomorrow.